we are first introduced to a boy named Sakura who is nicknamed Cherry. Cherry posted a Japanese poem or haiku to a social media that looked similar to Twitter while he was getting ready to go to work. In another place, a little girl named Smile seemed embarrassed with her buck teeth and had braces on them. She then covered it using a mask. Cherry, who works at a welfare facility in the mall, was looking for an old man who went outside of the facility. He then found the old man Fujiyama and took him back to the facility. On the same day, Smile was checking on her teeth at a dentist inside the mall. After finishing, she then put her mask on and started live streaming. She is a pretty well-known budding influencer who wants everyone to smile. Being quite popular, her live stream was seen by lots of her followers. She cheerfully tried her best to make everybody smile through her vlog. She did her live stream around the mall and interacted with people and the things inside the mall. As it was summer break, lots of students were visiting the mall, making it quite crowded. Inside the control room, the mall management found something wrong and found that a little boy named Beaver was stealing a life-size board of a famous model. They ordered the security there to capture him. Beaver, however, managed to skillfully escape from the guards. At the same time, Cherry was looking at an event at the mall. Being obsessed with haiku, with every single word he heard, he would look for it in the haiku dictionary to make a haiku out of it. That event also took Smile's attention making her come closer to see it. All of a sudden, Beaver accidentally hit both Cherry and Smile, making the boat fall. As they both fall, Smile's mask accidentally fell off and Cherry saw her braces. Embarrassed that someone saw her teeth, Smile immediately ran while covering her mouth. At that time, Smile unknowingly took Cherry's phone instead. And Cherry also took Smile's phone into his pocket, thinking that it was his phone. Cherry then took old man Fujiyama back to the welfare facility which is a daycare place for old people. The workers there were wondering why Fujiyama was wandering a lot. Apparently, he was trying to find a record of which the cover he is holding. Fujiyama was holding the cover labeled Yamazakura all the time. Not long, Fujiyama's grandson called Tough Boy came to pick him up. He came inside very upset as he was looking for Beaver who drew graffiti on his car. On her way home, Smile was thinking about how embarrassing that accident was and found out that she had the wrong phone with her. She was holding Cherry's phone that has a haiku dictionary with it. After finishing his work, Cherry went to the roof of the mall. On the roof, various things seemed to be Beaver's loot. There, Cherry saw Beaver negotiating about selling the model board he stole to a man named Japan. At her home, Smile immediately asked her little sister named Mari to help her find her smartphone. Her other sister named Juri suggested just calling her phone instead. As they called the phone, Cherry was too nervous to pick it up. Beaver then took the phone and picked it up for him. Seeing how nervous Cherry was, Japan then pressed the video call button instead. Smile panicked and immediately put her mask on. Japan, who was one of her fans, then started getting enthusiastic and made the girls panic. They then traded their phones back. The next day, Smile and her sister went to the mall. There, they were discussing why she she embarrassed about her teeth, even though it was part of her best feature when she was young. But probably, puberty changed everything, huh? Suddenly, the group of old people from the welfare facility passed by together with Cherry. The three girls saw Cherry talking with a woman and made a fuss about it. They all made an assumption of their own about their relationship. Cherry and the group were guided by the woman to make haiku while looking around the mall to find inspiration. The woman collected all the haikus they made and read them aloud. However, for Cherry's haiku, she asked Cherry to read it himself in front of the group. It was apparent that Cherry has major anxiety when he was asked to read his haiku. The group then saw the three girls hiding in the back, making the girls panic and left the place. Later that day, Cherry and Smile were walking together on their way home. Smile asked why Cherry was wearing headphones all the time. He told her that he did not like loud noises and used them to cover his hearing and avoid people talking to him. Cherry preferred to post his thought through social media in the form of haiku. When Cherry asked Smile about her mask, she changed the subject immediately to avoid that question. At his home, Cherry started packing his things up as she was going to move in the next month. His father came in to have a small chat with him about his feeling regarding their move and thank him for taking his mother's part-time job. At night, Smile and her sister stalked his social media and followed him. They then started interacting with each other through their own social media. Days passed by and Smile was asked to work at the welfare facility by the ladies there and she accepted. 
It was August the 1st and Cherry looked at the calendar and saw that the day he will move is approaching on August the 17th. At the facility, they were all rehearsing a traditional Daruma dance that they will all perform at the annual summer festival. That afternoon, Cherry and Smile took Fujiyama to his home. They all went inside Fujiyama's record store. It was then seen that Fujiyama was sad because he couldn't find a record that contains his late wife's song. Cherry and Smile then got determined to help Fujiyama find the record as it was full of precious memories for Fujiyama. Suddenly, Fujiyama collapsed and his daughter took him to his bed. On their way home, they were wondering why Fujiyama was looking for the record at the mall instead of at his shop. At night, Cherry and Smile were looking for information about the record in an effort to find it. They then found that the mall used to be a record pressing plant and found Fujiyama's picture in it. The two of them then asked around but still found nothing. Smile then asked her fans about the records and one of her fans recognized the place that can be seen on the record's cover. It was a radio tower at Umafuse Mountain. Cherry and Smile then went there together to search for more information. At the Mountain Museum, they found that the record was Fujiyama's late wife's last song. His late wife passed away not long after giving birth to her daughter and he opened a record store to sell his wife's songs. This is probably why Fujiyama wanted to hear her voice again as he missed her so much. On August 14, Cherry and his friends held up to find a record in Fujiyama's store. As the day passed by, Cherry then started showing his feelings to Smile and posted haiku hinting that he liked Smile's bug tea that she hit. The next day, they still haven't found a record in the store. Refusing to give up, Cherry then found hidden behind the fridge in the store. They were all so happy and showed the record to Fujiyama. As they were preparing to play the record, Smile found a moment to talk with Cherry alone. She nervously asked Cherry to watch fireworks together at the festival. However, Cherry was too afraid to tell her that he will not attend the festival as he will be moving on that day. Cherry managed to avoid that question after being called by Japan to help with the preparation. Seeing the record a little warm, Smile tried to fix the record but accidentally broke it completely. The next day, the people in the facility were seen rehearsing for the festival again. Still feeling guilty, Smile asked Cherry to accompany her to Fujiyama's house to apologize again. But then, Cherry's mother came to the facility to say goodbye and thank them all for treating his son well. Smile then knew about Cherry's move and was really sad and disappointed about it. She then went to Fujiyama's house alone. That night, she tried to fix the record but to no avail. Smile then broke down in tears and her sister hugged her to comfort her. Morning came and Smile was waken up by her sister and her parents prepared them all a yukata for the festival. Meanwhile, the moving company arrived at Cherry's house and they were all preparing to leave the house. At the welfare facility, Smile once again apologized to Fujiyama for breaking the record. One of the ladies there saw glued broken record and recognized it from somewhere. The back of the record was similar to the clock they have at the facility. They then took the clock down and it was revealed that it was actually another copy of the record. In the car, Cherry watched Smile's live stream on the ongoing festival. He heard that they were playing an unknown song and realized that it was the Yamazakura record. On the side of the road, Tough Boy was pointing at the sign on the road. The road has graffiti written by Beaver that read, Yamazakura, I like the leaves that you've hidden, which was one of the haiku that Cherry posted. It has a very deep meaning where according to the haiku dictionary, Yamazakura referred to someone with buck teeth, like Smile and Fujiyama's late wife. And the word leaves there was actually read as teeth. Cherry then asked the car to stop and he ran to the festival alone. He ran around the festival looking for Smile but couldn't find her. Seeing Fujiyama on the top of the stage, he then climbed to the top as well. Cherry took the loudspeaker and confessed his feeling to Smile by reading his haiku in front of the crowds. The film ended with Cherry saying the word I like you to Smile and Smile finally taking off her mask and smiling confidently with her teeth. So, that concludes the recap of words bubble up like soda pop. What do you guys think? The movie gave us a unique animation style with vibrant and beautiful colors. It focuses on showing the power of words and the importance of communication. The two main characters, Cherry and Smile, have very different approaches to communication. Cherry struggles with a speech impediment that makes it difficult for him to express himself, while Smile is a chatterbox who uses her phone to communicate with the world around her. However, through their interactions with each other, they learn to appreciate the beauty and the power of words, and the importance of using them to connect with others. Please tell us what you think through the comment section. 
If you like this content, please leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching and we see you again.